Your housing market predictions for 2022. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee because we're going to have a look at your predictions, viewer predictions for the housing market in 2022. Now I did this via a community poll that you'll see I think when you're scrolling on your phone you're know, asking you to vote and in what a day we've gotten 2,000 votes. So that's that's a significant number of votes. So let's have a look. I asked four questions, you know, or I asked one question with four options. What is your prediction for the housing market in 2022? The first one was bull. The housing market will go gangbusters. Then bear, the housing market will fall. Boring, the housing market will be largely flat. And bust, the housing, a huge collapse is coming. Now, we've got a fairly even distribution here. 27% are bullish. The housing market is going to go gangbusters to the moon. Lambos for everyone. It's all awesome. Bear, 15% are saying the housing market will fall. 38% think it's going to be boring and largely flat. And 20% believe a huge collapse is coming. And I thought we'd have a look at some of the comments. I would probably vote Depending on where you are, I think in some parts of Australia, it's going to be boring, largely flat, maybe a small decline that isn't going to really make housing any more affordable. I think in Queensland, it's going to go gangbusters. So, market movies. People have tried to predict the crash for years now. If it didn't crash back in 2020 and 2021, then it never will. So, yeah, I mean, that's it. Many people have been predicting a property market crash. I remember reading article after article predicting a 10%, 15%, even the RBA modeling a 40% fall. I suspect a lot of those were done to change, to shift public and political will to intervene to such an extent. But, you know, maybe that's just my aluminum foil hat that I'm wearing. Um, 35 versus 65, that's telling. Uh, I don't know what you're reading there. Probably out of date. Error 404, possibly revert back to pre-pandemic prices. Depending on interest rates and pandemic measures, my question is if rates are being hiked at the moment, does this set the new baseline? And now whatever the, the RBA does, it will increase. So with the fixed rates have been increasing because of US funding sources for the banks getting more expensive, will the RBA increase rates and then push those rates up as well? We'll have to see. A U.S. dream house. Housing may be impacted by higher prices, stagnant wages, and higher interest rates. Herbert, COVID will be over fairly soon as Omicron will get everyone. Done and dusted. Then the immigration floodgates will open. Do not vote for the major parties. Look at the others and all the political the policies before opening. Think this time around. It's something you'd hope people would do all the time. But about 5% of people, guys, make their decision based on the little how-to-vote cards that are handed to them. That, that's when they make the decision on how to vote. That, that, that's a big number. That's enough to flip a seat. So hopefully people will think this time around. Uh, Willie Bob, I voted housing will go up, because that, uh, but that's because I have no more confidence that the government will let it fall. Crash the dollar or save the dollar, what will they do? Uh, Mark Sherry, so many people gone already, who's to buy? We refer to Herbert's comment. Mark, uh, Polo, where's, uh, where are the mafias of this world wash their money? Exactly the Australian housing market prices will keep going up forever. Depends on uh, vaccine damage occurs long time, New Guardian. Uh, I, I suspect it's going to be the same to other vaccines, but just wait and see. Brian Smith, uh, is, the ho- uh, is housing a market is controlled by hedge funds, really? Uh, I don't think, not so much in Australia, guys. Not so much in Australia. Market collapse and then the migration, uh, migrations, floodgates open. And then we'll have another boom. ETA, Australian population shall be 50 million. Enough taxpayers to sustain the system by Lee. Well, hopefully then, if we have a population of 50 million, guys, we have more cities than just the few that they're living in. That's what we need. John is going, house affordability is great at the moment. No doubt it will continue an upward tra- tra- trajectory. For those who think interest rates will go up, I would love to understand how you think this is remotely possible based on the current debt to GDP across Australia and the US. Aussie Alchemist. Can't vote. All depends on the Fed. Hennessy RSA. So few people have learned how the market behaves. NPG. Currency crisis. Uh, prices may go up, 
but value against other things will continue to fall. Drop Bear thinks uh, it's referring to the House of Cards. DIY Miracle, the housing market is absolutely in a bubble, but I fully expect it to be the last market bubble to burst given the economic values valued has to politicians in both asset and voting in this country. I think DIY is on the money there. I think there's no political will to allow a crash, allow a correction, to allow a free market in the sector. There'll be intervention. Can you imagine the outrage? Graham, can only see it rising. Housing is what Australians buy to preserve wealth. Uh, I agree there too. I think that's... I can't see Aussies buying gold. I can't see the majority of them buying shares. I can't see them buying crypto. I can see them buying houses. I was talking to, to a colleague the other day. He you know, had 500 grand. He was going to buy another house. But every time he was looking at them, you know, they were selling for higher and higher, well out of their price range. So he just sat it in a, you know EFT fund, just you know, probably sitting, sitting and waiting. Government debt will come home to roost. War will drive up oil. Both factors collapsed by 2024 in 1699. So he's predicting a collapse by 2024. I think we've, this is the thing. You hear this stuff again and again and again. They're, they're people. The people here who, uh, you know, doom, negative news, gets views. Okay? It gets views, guys. I can do a positive video on something good. No one will watch it. You do something negative, it'll get views. So then you get more ads, you get more revenue. So then it becomes this vicious cycle. You know, you, you play up the doom to, to make more money or do you try and give a balanced pers- perspective on things. And, and, you know, people can fall into that trap where if you just listen to to some negative news, you can get into a negative news bubble and all you think is just negative. And that, that's, well, that's not how I want to frame my life. Sustained by the bank of mum and dad, I fancy, Echo Echo. Not as much as you think, Echo, not as much as you think. There's no real evidence of the huge numbers of claims that bank of mum, mum and dad are financing everything. That, that's kind of been disproven. Our banks will repossess thousands of homes after shutdowns and closures and rent them out. They'll be the biggest landlord or part of the Great Reset. You'll own nothing by Roy. I can't see that happening. Why would they want to deal with that? They did everything they can to avoid foreclosing on houses, guys. At least here in Australia. We'll have to see. Um, difficult to tell after the Fed election. If nothing significant happens, the vote, the voters are happy with the ongoing gang of fours, cultural genocide. We'll get an extension on being the mining pit for the industrial diversified countries. Pretty much. Uh, The efforts have been to keep the assets inflated since the beginning of 2020. Whatever narrative they could come up with. Mortgage forbearance, eviction bans, and free stimulus check for not producing anything valuable. The market can remain irrational longer than you can hold position. Ready, Ready has it. This is the thing. It can remain irrational longer than you can expect. But here's the thing also with housing. There's the liquidity in the housing sector isn't like other markets and they have a utility. We're not talking Bitcoin here, which is kind of useless without the market hype. You're talking houses. Worst case, you can live in it. Worst case, people need it. You know, uh, lots of corpse will will indicate a lull in demand. Uh, King is living in a fantasy world, mate. That's not going to happen. Growth in North Queensland. Rates may increase, but not much. But after all the draconian measures against COVID-19, it may make people think twice before moving to Australia. I think it will take time for immigration to start pushing prices up against all major cities. I don't think so, honestly. I think, sure, there are a few Americans that are hyping up what's happening here in Australia. A lot of people won't give a shit, honestly, compared to other countries. They won't care. They won't care. We'll rise about 10% by the end of the year. Um, Ron is saying slower increase. They talk cheap rate hikes, but the Fed and RBA and ECB don't actually raise anything enough to keep pace with the money printers. So till then, everything is numbers going up. Advanced data is going interest rates will go up due to inflation. They're now saying the Fed will hike rate four times. The RBA will have to man- uh, will have to follow to manage inflation here and the relative value of the dollar compared to the US. Then all those boomers, bank of mum and dad, who refinanced to release equity for a deposit for their kids to overpay for their homes. And those same kids that are now massive mortgages will be crushed between raising inflation and raising rates. It's not as much as you think. This is the thing. We've got this whole narrative of the the bank of mum and dad, but they haven't found evidence of it. And you know what? I think that's what we need to look at, guys. Check out this video about the bank of mum and dad. Everyone seems to think it's a thing. 
It's not as big as you realise. And if banker mum and dad took out 50 grand on an 800 grand house as a deposit, I don't think it's going to tip them over. Take care, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.